This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. We're going to have a look at a special case of a chart, and that's the pie chart. Pie chart is extremely useful for showing relationships between quantities of data. This bar chart we have here to show the top 10 products is great for displaying, obviously, the relative number of products sold against the rest of the top 10. If we were to put all the products on here, however, it would become quite a messy graph. I'm going to show you how the pie chart not only makes this data easier to look at, but also quite pretty. So the first job is to take this chart, which is our top 10 products, and change it into a pie chart. So we right click, chart expert, and choose pie. Having chosen pie chart, we can then say OK. And that displays our top 10 products as a percentage of their sales. And if you hover, you'll see it gives you the label and how many items it's sold. I'd like to go a little bit further though. So we right click and chart expert. I would like to bring all the data back, but not as separate little bars. So we're going to have very thin slices on that. I'm going to go to data. Choosing the grouped item here, title, top end. Currently we're showing the top 10. Well, let's include all of them, but include the others as an others option and not include ties. So anything you've sold the same as 10 will actually get lumped in with others. Okay, okay. And now your others is this big section here. Let's now go to chart options. Now in the chart options, because we have a pie, we can explode the pie and you'll see it explodes all the slices. The further you take it to the right, the more the slices are exploded. So it's getting the balance right, really, for what you're after. You can rotate it. Because it might be that the section we're trying to emphasize, which is this section here, needs to be more on view. Let's move it there. We can change the depth so you get some 3D feel to the slices. And we can even tilt the perspective. So we could tilt a little bit more and then go a bit deeper. The great thing about using these options is the preview here is your chart being moved so you can see what it's going to look like before you click OK. Let's change the title because that's now not just the top 10 products. This is product sales. We can then add a legend. So if we add a legend, but it's now overlapping the chart, so I'm going to put it underneath, so legend below the chart and ask it to show percentages, it becomes like a little table showing you the percentage for each slice. We can add data labels. Now we can never get this to show values. So these are numbers of items sold, or show them as a percentage. So that's now a percentage of the entire pie. Now they can be displayed outside the pie, around the center slice, inside edge, which is quite good for big slices, outside edge, so it's just outside, outside the pie completely, and you get these leader lines which are controlled by this option here, or the side of the frame. So then they're all lined up neatly. Choice and the control is entirely yours. Now you can even add the labels as well, or instead of, but it tends to get a bit messy with our long labels, so we'll leave those off, and allow the colors to match the legend underneath here. So that's okay, and there's our pie chart. Each line here shows the percentage that that slice of pie has of the whole pie. And underneath we can see the color code so we can match the products up. And they're in list of largest slice downwards. So you can see it adds up to 100%, which obviously it would need to because the whole pie has been used. So this is just a, a look at using the pie chart as a way of representing information as a percentage of other information. Now we can do exactly the same thing in another chart. If we make use of the adventure work sales bar chart labeled and we change this into a pie chart, so it's into chart expert, pie chart. I'd also want to change the data so the grouping is not now by month, but by territory key. And then OK. I mustn't have logged in for a while. So this is our pie chart. These are the different territories and their sales. And we can do the same as before into chart options. Do the little explode thing. Rotate, perhaps to highlight this one at the bottom more. Bit of depth and change the tilt. And have a bit more depth. 
titles being picked up because we already added those when it was a previous type of chart. And the data labels, let's get it to show the percentage again. So that's a very small percentage of the entire sales there. We could show the region inside edge. A little untidy, let's not have those on. But let's move the legend again to V on the left. Underneath. Let's stay on the left and show percentages. Okay, so that has changed that particular chart into a pie chart showing the percentage of sales by territory. If we zoom in a little, you can see that this time the legend is not ordered by the size of the slice, but by the grouping, so the territory order. If you want these to be in effectively size of slice, then we need to go back into the chart expert on data, top N, and tell it to sort by all, so we're not filtering any of the data out, but by sales amount descending, so the biggest amount first. Okay, okay. And now they are in slice of pie rather than territory ID order. So the biggest slice, 26.61%, that big blue area there, is territory 9, followed not too far behind by territory 4. So that's a special case pie chart. I think I must have a soft spot for them because they're quite nice and they're easy to present in this 3D format and are ideal for presenting what could be massive amounts of data as percentages of a grand total.